essentially, Pascal ruptured uh, an Achilles tendon, his right Achilles tendon in the last or the first game of the uh, finals away to um, Wellington Phoenix. Uh, he's had surgery um, pretty well, pretty much immediately after the injury. Uh, he's been immobilised in a boot and crutches since then, and he's not meant to be putting any full weight on the uh, leg still till pretty much until the end of um, until the beginning of June. And at which point then he'll start getting some rehabilitation, aiming to get it gradually stronger, building it up and progressing through to um, running and then hopefully uh, without any complications um, back to playing. But essentially he, the rehabilitation plan is going to take, take another three to four months uh, and the aim will be that he will be uh, available you know, by the start of the season or thereabouts. Brett uh, had surgery to his ankle um, two weeks ago. He, it was the main aim of the surgery was to repair a, a ruptured ligament in his ankle that he sustained earlier in the season. The ligament is important uh, to give stability to the ankle. Uh, he was he was able to play through the rest of the season with that injury through management and modifying his training and workloads. Um, the doctor was very happy again with the way things went. Uh, he repaired the, the ankle, uh, the ligament, he, he basically sewed it back to the bone and he also uh, cleaned out the ankle um, while he was there. Um, he, there was some spurring or degeneration in the ankle, some wear and tear that needed to be cleaned out. That, that now is as good as new. So again, similarly to Pascal, to allow the ankle gra uh, to graft, the ligament to graft, he's uh, in a boot and crutches and he's not doing any full weight bearing at least until the end of this month. At this stage, the, the plan is that he'll be out probably four months, uh, four to five months at the worst uh, in terms of allowing it to strengthen and not compromising the ankle. So all things being equal, he'll be available for the start of the season as well the new uh, A-League season. Nathan uh, has had a chronic problem, a uh, long-standing problem with uh, his groins. It's, it stems back to issues he had about three years ago, at which point he didn't um, uh, probably have them addressed properly. So essentially both his adductor muscles, which are the muscles that join up into the, to the groin, were very tight and there was a developing of, that he had a build up of scar tissue which caused him ongoing um, pain that couldn't really be relieved properly with um, rehab and physio and strengthening so on, on the advice of a surgeon he had a release in both adductors which basically meant cutting away some of the thickened tissue and uh, breaking down some of that scarring and so that's now um, he's at a phase where he's just resting and strengthening the area and he needs about another week or two before he'll start a, um, a program of building up again to walking to jogging as well. But uh, at this stage, we're looking at probably a good sort of uh, three to four months before he's ready to train and play properly as well.